Hello everybody, Ketchy1383 with Ketchy Gaming, and I wanted to go over what was the highlight for the Nintendo Direct on Wednesday, for me at least. And that was the announcement of a Mario RPG remake. When I heard that music and I saw that scene, I knew exactly what it was. Not that it was a remake, but what game it was. And... I was just ecstatic with anticipation on what this was. Was it going to be an official sequel? Was it going to be maybe another remake? And I wasn't disappointed that, yes, it was a remake. And this was just a very pleasant surprise. And I have to wonder if it'll get a actual sequel to it. Probably depending on how well this does. After all, there was a sequel in development for the Nintendo 64. It didn't go well because it was the Nintendo 64. And because Square owned rights to some of these characters, they couldn't make a sequel. Now, for those of you who are younger and never experienced this game, this was probably the RPG that you could probably credit for getting a lot of Americans into RPGs more so than even Final Fantasy. I mean, at the time, Square definitely thought that Americans were not getting into RPGs, and they tried making their own little separate American version of Final Fantasy, which didn't go well, but I think this is what nailed it. This is what caused the success of Final Fantasy VII. Don't get me wrong, Final Fantasy VI actually, or three, because it came out as three in the U.S., Anyways, that also definitely was a contributor to the success of Final Fantasy VII as well. Don't get me wrong on that. But some of you might be wondering, why do we care about a very old turn-based game? I can personally attest to having grown up from the 80s through the 90s, 2000s, that games aren't as complete yes there are really good games that do come out complete or eventually get made in that capacity although it's a little irritating when they don't but in some cases just how complete and solid these games are how well they played how well the story worked especially with mario rpg that's one of them yes it's a simple turn-based system but it was a phenomenal game, and I played it even when I was in high school. I didn't even beat it till I was in high school, because we always had to rent it. And then I borrowed a copy from a friend, which I was able to finally beat. And then I beat it again when I bought it on the Virtual Console, so rest in peace, Virtual Console. So, seeing this game, having updated visuals, which sometimes that's all you really need for a game like this. It's just a slightly modernizing a little bit. The only other thing I wish they might change, and I hope they do, is Yoshi's Island. The beat game that they have on there. When I say beat, I should say rhythm. I don't know, whatever. Childhood me could do it because I learned to play violin and all that other fun stuff. Can't do it as an adult. Not for the life of me. Don't know why, I try and follow the beat of the drums, just can't do it. Apparently there's a sub beat that I can't pick up on. Anyways, this is a solid game. I am, and I am anticipating this game with joy. Seeing what else they might change. Probably not much from the appearances of it, but I would definitely pick this up if you've never even played Mario RPG before. Anyways, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Have a good one.